When you want to join the French for religion, your first struggle, your first fight will be reaching French soil. And when you are there, you will disappear to find yourself again. Nous le dame de la terre entière, nous le blessé de toutes les guerres, nous ne pouvons pas oublier un malheur, une honte, une femme qu'on adorait. Schultz, it's time. Gaston, let's go, huh? Hello, friends of the French Foreign Legion. I am greeting you. What is the creation of the French Foreign Legion? I'm talking about the date. Give me the date. You don't know? Oh, my God. I think there's a lot of work for me to do. <laughs> you know, when you want to join the French Foreign Legion, you want to join the French Foreign Legion, and I, I think, I believe, that the pills... The Post Information Relation Etranger will reopen very, very soon. And I want you to have all your chances to be taken this time. This is so important for you. So there are some must do, some must know. Huh? Be prepared, my friend. Be prepared. Okay. The last time we ran through the ranks. I teach you the ranks of the troop. I teach you the ranks of the and CEO, we will repeat it one more time with me. Okay? You have Legionnaire de Premier Class, Caporal, Caporal Chef, White Capi. We have Sergeant, he is a Sergeant, Sergeant Chef, Adjudant. I am Adjudant. Gaston is Adjudant. Mon Adjudant. When you talk to him, Mon Adjudant. Oui, Mon Adjudant. Adjudant chef. Mon adjudant chef. And then the highest NCO rank is Major. We oui, Major. This is a must know, right? So, when I joined the Legion in 1985, everybody else about around me, you know, the Legionnaires were talking French. And, um, you know, in the Legion, they have certain expressions and some, some words you will never ever here, anywhere else on this planet. Believe me. <laughs> because the Legionnaire's language is slightly different from the normal French language. Yeah? Right. And they use expressions like, and this is a must know, believe me. Caspar <laughs> le Rollmops. You, Caspar le Rollmops. <laughs> so, what does it mean? That means you are breaking my bollocks right now. Don't break my bollocks, right? And the word Royal Mops is coming from the German, out of the German. Royal Mops is a herring who is rolled, is rolled, and inside you can find some cucumbers and onion and stuff like this. And then you eat it with bread, with German bread, rye bread. Huh? So, when you hear somebody say to you, Kasperle Royal Mops, then be aware, it's better to stop bullshitting with him, okay? The next expression is Schlabor, Schlabor. No, I'm doing this for the last one. There's a reason. Next one is Engagé Gamelle. Or, like the Polonais guys say, Gamelski. Engagé Gamelle is a guy, an applicant or a legionnaire who eats a lot, who is always eating and he always asking for more, for Ravio. Huh? It's a Maybe a legionnaire who joined the legion at lunchtime. <laughs> so, when you hear somebody say to you, Tu es un engagé gamel! Mettez un engagé gamel! That means 
that you are eating a lot. And that's it. Gamelski, you're a fucking Gamelski. <laughs> Coming to the next one is, I love this one, I love them. Koi de Lu. Koi de Lu, that means, you know, when, when I translate it, it makes no sense. That means the bollocks of a wolf, wolf bollocks, makes no sense. But Koi de Lu, when you hear somebody say Koi de Lu, that means they teach you an idiot. You are a fucking idiot or somebody who is not very smart. So, if somebody tells you, you're a koi de loup, tu es vraiment un koi de loup, then it's better to be smarter in the future. Uh, don't be a koi de loup, that's it, right? The next one is corbo. What is a corbo? So, I told you that in the French Foreign Legion, you have the second rep. And the second rep is the only paratrooper regiment within the French Foreign Legion. And... The rep men, all the men serving in the second rep, the paratroopers, treating everybody else in the legion, the corbo. So the guys from the first rack for us, they are corbos. The legionnaire of the deuxième REI for, for us, they are corbos. Everybody else but us is a corbo. That's it. Huh? And now I'm coming to the expression schlabo. Mais t'es vraiment schlabo? Mais tu veux être un schlabo à tous les temps Non, impossible. <laughs> schlabo, wait. So, schlabo, that means, in the Legion, when you hear saying somebody schlabo, that means all legionnaires are legionnaires, they are in the Legion, and everybody else, all the rest of the soldiers in the French army, they are just schlabo. <laughs> schlabo is a no legionnaire. And, where does it come from? The origin is when the Régiment de Marche, Légion étrangère, in the First World War, you know, the fighting against the Germans, and you know, the RMLE, they had also commandos, commando soldiers. And when they, when they went to the German position, and the German was, has been completely surprised that they don't wear a helmet, but they wear heads like this. Not like this, because this is from the Army de l'Air, but Similar heads like this. You know, I show you. You know, you see this one? This is like ears bending downwards. Huh? And the legionnaires, the devils, went into, into the positions of the German soldiers, seeing this, and see, and they say, Oh my God, look the Schlabor! <laughs> so, Schlabor is not nice. Huh? Schlabor is not nice. So, let me say it one more time. The pills will not be closed at an element. One day they will open and I want you to be on the door, in front of the door, a pill knocking and saying, We, oui, Mona I'm here. Huh? I will give you all the chances to be the first one and the best to be taken. Huh? I want you to have an advantage over all the other ones. But this, is you have to run through some must learn, must do, must know. And I'm teaching you all this, okay? So, now it's uh, singing time. I take my Carnet de Champs. I showed you the Carnet de Champs, the genuine Carnet de Champs from the French for Legion. Have a look. And today, of course, this is Marlene Dietrich. Today, of course, I will sing, because we have heard Schlabor and uh, Rollmops and all the German stuff, you know. We have other words in, 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 in the French for Legion. Arbeit, Nickel Chrome, stuff like this. I will sing Lili Marlene. And this is an old, genuine military song. Even the Americans sang this song in the Second World War. Everybody, everybody. Italians, French, Belgium, US Army. British soldiers saying Lily Marlene. It's very important. You must know Lily Marlene. <laughs> Lily Marlene. Vor der Kaserne, vor dem großen Tor, stand eine Laterne und stellt sie noch davor. 
So wollen wir uns da wieder sehen, vor der Laterne wollen wir stehen, wie einst Lilly Marlene, wie einst Lilly Marlene. Unsere beider Schatten sah wie einer aus, dass wir lieb uns hatten, das sah man gleich daraus. Und alle Leute sollen es sehen, wenn wir vor der Laterne stehen, wie einst Lilly Marlene, wie einst Lilly Marlene. Schon ruft der Posten, sie blasen Zapfenstreich, es kann drei Tage kosten, Kamerad, ich komm sogleich. Drum sag mich schnell auf Wiedersehen, bei der Laterne wollen wir stehen, wie einst Lilly Marlen, wie einst Lilly Marlen. Aus dem alten Raume, aus dem stillen Raume, aus der Erde Grund, Hebt sich wie im Traume, ja, dein verliebter Mund. Und wenn sich die späten Nebel drehen, werden wir bei der Laterne stellen, wie einst Lilly Marlen, wie einst Lilly Marlen. You must know how to sing, and I will teach you all this stuff. Amitié, légionnaire, yours, Thomas Gast. Bye bye. <laughs>